Chapter 2. Nine little sailor boys sat up very late. One overslept himself, and then there were eight. Filthy night. I tried to go out to get some more wood for the fire, but the wind drove me back. A storm like that will keep us all indoors. My apologies for the accommodations, Mr. Narricot, but all the beds are taken. Makes one wonder where the Owens were planning to sleep, doesn't it? A good servant follows instructions, sir. He does not question his employer. Unless you'd like to share the deceased's room with the corpse, this will do fine. Thank you, Rogers. I'll wish you a good night then, sir. Everyone should be sound asleep by now. Good time for a little stealth work. Nine little sailor boys. There are some batteries buried under here. Seems so obvious in retrospect. I should have thought of that sooner. Let me examine this further. I wonder what's recorded on this side. The flower stuck to bits of it. Aha! A fingerprint! Wargrave on justice. I can only imagine the egotism that lurks within those pages. I can't take that apart. Property of Teresa Robson. I transcribe the interesting passages into my notebook.
I won't do that. The drawer is locked. This could use a closer look. That came apart rather easily. It's a book holder. Seems like a long time since it's been used. A rather beautifully made globe of the world. I transcribe the pertinent passages in my notebook. Normally, I would never violate someone's privacy this way. However, given the circumstances, I will examine the entries for clues and transcribe any passages I find pertinent. I transcribe the pertinent passages in my notebook. I don't think that's appropriate. That doesn't make sense. I'm pleased to see at least one of you has thought to turn the record over. Any good house party should include party games. This weekend is no exception. I have devised several little games of the mind to challenge your wits, and I hope you find the rewards for each to be worth the effort. You'll have to discover my little amusements on your own. However, I've scattered them all over this delightful island retreat. I hope that you will find them suitably entertaining. Tightly locked. I can't open it. It's locked. He's as tight as an owl. I expect nothing could wake him up.
locked. It's tightly locked. Morning is coming. I'd best get back to my bed. Well, I didn't get much rest, but at least I have something to show for it. I'd best see if everyone has come down for breakfast. Various toiletries. Nothing of interest that I can see. This could use a closer look. That works, just barely. If what Narakot told Vera is true, and mind you, I take anything he says with a grain of salt, then they will not be sending a boat until at least Monday, even if the storm clears. Wise to remember, Narakot's the odd man out here. Yes, thanks to you, I believe, Blor. At least nothing else has occurred. I hope you are correct, Miss Claythorn. However, I feel compelled to draw your attention to this table's centerpiece. Now two are broken. How odd. Ah, Mr. Narakot, good morning. Since Mr. Marsden won't be joining us, there is an extra place for breakfast, although breakfast itself seems to be a trifle behind schedule. I'm afraid there is no breakfast at present. Mrs. Rogers has not been able to carry on this morning. What's the matter with the woman? I was promised fresh apple juice this morning. I must tell you a sad piece of news. Mrs. Rogers died in her sleep.
Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death? She was a very skittish creature. And she had a shock last night. It might have been heart failure. Her heart certainly failed to beat. What caused it to fail is the question. Did you hear anything in the night? No. My sleep was quite restful. A pleasure as always, Miss Claythorn. Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death, Judge? I'm afraid it confirms my opinion that there is something very wrong on this island. It occurs to me that if these two deaths were not suicides or accidents, that Mr. Owen may very well be responsible. If so, he is almost certainly on this island somewhere. I agree. I think we should find a way off this island immediately. Did you hear anything in the night? I confess I slept fitfully. Marsden's death, the storm, but I heard nothing. Possibly also due to the storm. Understandable, Judge. Quite understandable. Mr. Narricott, can your boat be repaired? I doubt very seriously it can be repaired. Mr. Bloor did a good job. Steady on. I didn't know then how the land lay, did I? So you say. If you find a means of leaving the island or of signaling the mainland, I'm sure we would all be in your debt. And I'm sure all of us would help in any way we could. Here, here. We're never going to leave the island. None of us are ever going to leave. What were you hinting at concerning Marston's politics? Only that he'd become mixed up with some... foreigners. I think that's all I'd better say at present. Good day to you, Judge. What was the cause of death? Impossible to say offhand. There must be an autopsy. I certainly couldn't give a certificate without one. When did you find out? Rogers roused me at first light. He'd gotten up to light the stove and see to the power generator before waking her. When she didn't respond, he got me. Can you tell when she died? Without an autopsy, not for certain, but it must have been some hours ago. The body was... Uh quite cold. Did you hear anything in the night? No, although it appears I should have. That is all for now, Dr. Armstrong. Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death? We know that she consumed something last night. Dr. Armstrong told us so. I, Mr. Lombard? You gave her a sedative. A small dose of triumph, nothing more. Doctors have made mistakes before. You're suggesting I accidentally gave Mrs. Rogers an overdose? Accidentally or otherwise. One death may have been an accident or suicide, but two in the space of a few hours? Simply outrageous, man of my standing. Any more questions, Mr. Narricott? Did you hear anything in the night? I'm a very light sleeper. In future, I hope everyone will bear that in mind. Yes, several times I heard something. You didn't investigate? With a judge, a detective, and an amateur sleuth in the house, you hardly need my poor skills in that line. I prefer to keep watch. The hunter in his blind? A good analogy, Judge. You said you recognized Owen's voice. I've had time to think it over, and I'm sure I did. But I see no reason to share that information with you. Thank you, Lombard. Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death? Conscience. What do you mean by that? She was accused, together with her husband, of having deliberately murdered her former employer, an old lady. You all saw her last night. She broke down completely. The shock of her wickedness brought home to her was too much to bear. She literally died of fear. Possibly, if there was cardiac weakness. Call it, if you prefer, an act of God. Thank you, Miss Brent. Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death? I'm sure Mrs. Rogers wasn't to blame. A good, loyal woman. Did you hear anything in the night? 
I thought... I thought I heard a voice calling my name. My wife... She died several years ago. I expect it was a dream. General, you said you thought you recognized Lombard. Did I? Yes, I expect I did. But I failed to see what business it might be of yours. I am indebted to you for your help, General Mackenzie. Perhaps this will grant the aging general increased mobility. Are you sure you can't tell me how you recognize Mr. Lombard? Lombard, yes. He does look familiar. But the name is wrong. Or is it? I'm sorry, young man. My memory plays tricks on me. I am indebted to you for your help, General Mackenzie. I have nothing more to say to him. The time for talk has passed. You're a detective, Mr. Bloor. Any theories? I appreciate you recognizing the fact there's a professional present. I'd like to know what she had to eat or drink last night before she collapsed. Rogers assures me she had nothing whatsoever. Of course he would say that. But see here. They've done a murder and gotten away with it. Now she's all hysterical, likely to give the show away. She's a danger to her husband. That's what she is. Oh, I should hardly think a man would do that to his wife. You said you knew something about the history of this island. Most of the old stuff can be found in the library. Its more recent history is just as interesting, though. But I'm not inclined to divulge that just yet. That is all for now, Mr. Bloor. 